Hello everyone, welcome to my podcast. My name is Karina and I live in the Pacific Northwest with my partner, our two kitties, and my two horses. Um, today is Vlogmas, day three. It is December 12th. December 12th. No, it is December 3rd, 2023. It is Sunday, so this could be a little bit longer podcast than when I return to work tomorrow. So um, I'll talk about some of the Advent knitting that I'm doing. I'm actually kind of caught up, which is slightly remarkable. <clears throat> and I'll just talk about a few horse things. Because that's what the Knitting Equestrian is all about. It's about uh, knitting and my journey uh, in my horsemanship journey with my two Mustangs. I will, if you are new here, uh, welcome. I hope you enjoy the content. I will have uh, a link to the Bureau of Land Management Wild Horse Adoption Program in uh, the description box and also any uh, yarns that I'm using and patterns and um, if they're available. Um, so, First of all, what am I wearing? I'm wearing a poncho. Um, I was outside for a while earlier watching a riding lesson uh, with a trainer that I have not met before. So, and it's, the temperature isn't particularly cold. I mean, I think it's maybe around 40 degrees, but it's been raining and that just makes it bone chilling cold. <clears throat> so, um, yeah, so I was out outside for, you know, kind of not moving around very much, and I got pretty cold. And <clears throat> when I came home, I did some um, kind of heavy barn chores and stuff like that. Like, I got firewood, um, uh, a whole load of firewood that I had to load into the wagon, and then bring the wagon up to the house and unload the wagon, um, put the firewood in the in the uh, firewood box, so it's it's a bit of an effort. I also uh, moved several large bales of hay from the loft uh, down, um, tossed them down to the ground floor where I feed, um, and that's, by the time I got done with that, I, everything was warm except my feet. My feet are finally getting warm. I have uh, hand knit socks that my grandmother, my late grandmother, made me quite a few years ago. Um, they are made out of, I think, a worsted weight wool. They've held up very well. I've been very nice to them and um, and slippers. And so I also have this, this poncho on over a long sleeve shirt. This poncho, uh, it's been probably four or five years since I knit this. I bought the yarn at a yarn store in Randolph, New Hampshire when I was over there and it came in a kit um, and this is the the color that I picked so pretty pretty simple I I want to say I took a couple skeins of yarn uh, maybe I don't remember you know honestly I don't remember um, how big the the balls of yarn were like if they were 50 then it probably took four but it's a bulky weight very simple garter stitch with a um, with a C down the middle. And I honestly don't remember if this was, it's probably top down is my guess. Um, so yeah, and it's got this kind of nice little, um, stockinette collar so that it, it curls like a, like a turtleneck. So, uh, what else am I going to talk about? Um, why don't I open another advent? Um, so I have the Legacy Fiber Arts Advent, and it's not week two yet, I don't, I don't think. Let me look at this box again. So this is Legacy Fiber Arts. I got a set of four. So basically, the first one is this. Uh, Twinkle's Tea House is what it's called. The colorway is called. Uh, da, 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 da. And with a 20 skein, 20 gram mini, so 50 gram skein, uh, micro, it's a Microsoft kit, Microsoft kit, good grief, 
uh, Steel Toes, it, which is their fingering weight, 75, 25, um, Superwash Merino Nylon. So week two, I guess I'm going to open this probably on Friday. Um, so I'll have four sock sets. Not sure what I'm going to do with those um, yet. I mean, the obvious answer would be to make socks, but as I mentioned before, using the smaller needles kind of bothers my thumbs. Um, so I'm trying to knit things of, of larger gauge uh, with larger needles. So I've been knitting more shawls and I've been thinking about fingering weight sweaters and um, things like that. So that is advent number one. Advent number two, th this was a scrappy exchange. So let's see what day three is. Um, I have it in a, um, this is supposed to be a waste basket, but you know, it's a great yarn holder. So, this exchange was hosted by, or arranged by um, Becrea Bea, uh, who has a podcast. She's a very prolific designer, knitwear designer from Edinburgh. And um, she arranged this and matched up people. And so I got matched with a person from Portland, Oregon. Oh, she really did some nice things. So she made a bel uh, gave me a Belgian white chocolate waffle cone bar. I think I'm going to eat that after I'm done podcasting. And then this nice little um, scrap of yarn. It is, um, oh, this is Ancestral Fiber Company, 100% Merino. It doesn't say what weight it is. It kind of looks maybe a light sport or possibly a... Fingering. I'm not really sure, but so I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with this yet. But so far, I've gotten um, fingering, and I've I've gotten some worsted weight. So fun stuff. And she just did a really nice job of wrapping, and I really appreciate the little gifts that she she included in the uh, in the advent. So on to advent knitting. Uh, the first one is a pair of socks. It is, uh, this is Kay Jones of the Bakery Bear. The bag is a quilted bag that my mom made me. Um, dragonfly fabric with a polka dot inside. Perfect for socks. Um, so the Kay Jones Bakery Bears um, Advent, it's a, a knit an MCAL, a mystery knit along, although we do know it's socks. It's three colors. The theme is um, a nutcracker, so I chose this red. And try not to pull anything off the needles. And so the red is. Uh, I've linked the yarn in the in the show notes, but it's a hand painted uh, yarn from uh, Montana. This is a hand dyed yarn uh, by Jada Wu uh, in Just Navy. I believe the colorway for this is Truffle. And then I bought this yarn yesterday. It is Gadifra, proudly designed in Tuscany. It's merino sock wool. Let me see what the colorway is. I've never used this yarn, so it's 80% superwash and 20% polyamine. Um, oh, it, okay, so it's color 00914. So, yeah, so this gold. So I was thinking these three things would be a good kind of nutcracker theme. And I'll show you what I've done so far. Um, so clues one and two came out yesterday and then clue two came out today. My understanding was is that she was going to do uh, release clues every other day. Um, so I was a little bit surprised to see a clue this morning, but that's okay. I got through clue two. So clue one is the ribbing. It has a cabled ribbing and then 
clue two is a lace pattern. And these little lace thingies are supposed to be kind of in the shape of a Christmas tree. Um, so maybe that'll become more clear as I knit, but that's the finish of clue two. And I am going to um, put the marker back on. I'm using a Halloween broomstick. Let's see that. There we go. Uh, marker. Beginning of round marker. So I'll put that back in. And then I just started the ribbing for, I just basically cast on, and I think I'm on row two or three um, on the second sock. Sock. I use Chowgu red lace needles in size zero, um, and I knit the small size. I knit left-handed, so my um, my gauge is bigger. And those are the socks, size of socks that fit me. So um, let's see here. This is um, a shawl. It's a mystery knit along. Um, the clues, we, we know what it is. So there's a picture of the shawl. And there's a clue that comes out every single day. And this is for like a 24 or 25 um, piece advent. It has 25 colors. I used uh, one color for the first two clues because they're very small. This is what the shawl looks like. And I'm currently basically in, uh, I think I just finished this section here. We'll start with garter tab and then this lace section. So I am going to start clue three here. Um, I have the chart for it. I just haven't cast anything on yet. So um, I was going to show you what I have. And I am using Chogu Red Lace size. I think these are three. I think the pattern calls for four. But uh, since my gauge is bigger, I figured it'd be okay to do three. So uh, here are the first two clues. The lace. And that was obviously um, a pink mini that I used. And so what I'm thinking for the second, or the third section, um, here is the bouquet of minis that I'm using for this. I'm thinking of using um, this color here. I was gonna draw them out randomly and I thought, but I thought about it more and thought, well, I don't really wanna do that because I don't wanna be too haphazard. So this is kind of what I am thinking for the, well, let me hold it up. I'm thinking about this one for the next one and then maybe a pale pink for the one after that. So after I'm done here and end up done enjoying my, my cookie, I am going to um, wind this up. I don't think I'm going to use the ball winder that is behind me because um, it's just so small that I can just... Um, it takes me no time at all. I mentioned that my mom got me a, a Swift and ball winder for Christmas and sent it early. Uh, in fact, I think I got it on Friday. I have wound probably at least four balls of yarn now. So, <laughs> so that is really, really awesome. I'm already getting a lot of use out of it. Okay, and then for the final Advent knitting I am doing, um, I was gonna do the Arnie and Carlos stocking, but I still don't have the yarn, so um, I'm going to print out the pattern and kind of keep up with the, the uh, podcast. But uh, I'm not going to do the knitting. Instead, I opted to do a uh, Pacific Knit Co. scarf that has a lot of motifs and it's very appropriate for an advent calendar. calendar. Each stripe can be um, a mini. Uh, each set of motifs can be a mini, a mini, a mini. So I am started, so it is knit as like a long tube. And the recommended yarn weight is like a sport or a light DK. But she encourages uh, people to experiment. And I have a lot of fingering weight yarn. So in fact, I am using a Polka Dot Creek, um, part of an advent. 
this is kind of messy because I keep pulling it out of the bag, but that's okay. Um, it's just the outside that won't be a problem. So I'm going to use this for the main color. This is an undyed skein of fingering weight yarn. I forgot to mention that the bouquet of minis is from, it's an advent from Polka Dot Creek, and I will have that um, information linked in the show notes. And then I'm using scraps for uh, all the motifs and for the, the contrast colors. So the way that this starts is that you cast on using Judy's Magic Loop, which are, um, magic cast on which is a seamless cast on it's really cool so that is cast on that's 120 stitches cast off cast on directly in the middle um the end is right here i'm using um 16 inch chagu red lace needles uh size three for this and there's 120 stitches on here it's kind of tight um not but my other size three needles are being occupied by a shawl. And I do have other brands of size three needles, but um, they just don't do magic loop as well as Chowby Red Lace, in my opinion. Because I have these clover needles, but they, well, and those may not be much longer either. So, and that would be worse. So I need to knit three about three inches of this um this contrast color before i do anything else before i do the uh a main color and then it is going to be a scarf that's probably going to be roughly eight inches wide double double thickness of the fingering weight so the motifs you knit in the round and it's just kind of a giant long flat tube so I have a whole basket of, or a whole bag of scraps here that I'm gonna use for the various motifs. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, so yeah, that is my advent knitting. I'm not really doing any other knitting. I, I would like to work on um, that sweater that I've shown in my regular episodes, the um, Riverside sweater that's inspired by a 1950s Sophia Loren movie. So if I'm going to prioritize, I'm going to prioritize the socks because it would, I don't have a pair of Christmas socks and it'd be really nice to have, have, have Christmas socks. So I'm going to prioritize that. The shawl and the um, scarf, they really can be any time. I mean, maybe I'll prioritize the scarf because it's a wintertime thing and the shawl is going to be a fingering weight shawl so it can be uh, worn all year round, really. So that's what I'm going to do um, for Advent Knitting. And um, just to tie this together with um, the videos that I'm tacking on, I took a video yesterday of a horse-drawn carriage. I went up to Bellingham to meet some friends, and um, as part of the festivities, there was a horse-drawn carriage, and I filmed it uh, a little bit of it while it was... Uh, while I was waiting for one of my friends uh, to find parking and, and meet me at our agreed location. Um, and I have been filming my morning walking out to the barn in the dark routine. It was raining this morning. And um, so I will continue to do that. That is probably going to be a common theme through Advent. Uh, it's just that daily rhythm of, of how it works. Um, in December, it's basically feeding in the in the dark, and um, they enjoy their breakfast by themselves, and then I let them out um, after an hour or two, maybe, and so they can hang out together for the rest of the day. The other thing that I did is I went and visited um, a trainer um, who teaches lessons that I had not um, mentioned. Or, or I didn't know, uh, and I mentioned that at the beginning of this, so I'm, so I'm sorry for repeating myself, I'm just thinking about it. So I'm gonna include a photograph of a couple uh, uh, Norwegian Fjord horses that uh, were in the lesson, and it turns out that um, one of the riders is someone I know. So I'm kind of excited about this, and I, if I do take decide to take lessons from her, it'll be sometime in January. 
after we get back from our trip to Texas uh, to see mom and um, my stepdad. So that is that. Um, I think that's about it. So there'll be a string of uh, videos, short videos uh, for on this. And this is gonna be another half hour video because um, it's Sunday and apparently I have time. I was supposed to go on a trail ride today, but you know, with all the, with witnessing that lesson, with um, having to get firewood and um, hay, I always need to ice my back after I move those giant bales of hay around. They weigh at probably 85 to 100 pounds and um, I don't lift them. I kind of like tilt them up and roll them over so but it's it's hard work so um i ice my back and uh and it's kind of rainy and ecky out so i'm quite frankly glad to be in here and with my knitting so um cheers to day three of advent and i will see you next time have a great day good morning everyone welcome to vlogmas day three today is december 3rd 2023 it is, I don't know, about 6.20 a.m. Sunday morning, heading out to the barn to feed the horses per usual. Kind of enjoy this rhythm of, of the day. It gets me outside. Uh, I turn on my headlamp so we can all see where we're going. Uh, crossing the creek between the barn and the house. Might be able to see some neighbor's lights over there uh, and we'll be coming up to the barn light here soon um, but anyway the rhythm of the day is that it gets me out there's the creek regardless of weather because the horses have to be fed there's the house christmas tree lights and there's the barn so i give the horses quite a bit of hay at night and i actually give them more when it's raining, um, even though it's a little bit warmer than if it were, you know, snowing or frozen. Uh, horses are very well adapted to cold weather, um, but they're, I mean, because of their fur and the uh, fat that they put on in their bodies, you can kind of see their eyeballs over there. You probably can't see them. Um, but rain, the rain flattens down their coat and they heat from the inside out. So they get lots of food. So I'm going to get to it. Clean yard by headlamp in the rain. I have this wonderful outside light Randy got me for Christmas. So uh, a couple of years ago, a few years ago, best Christmas present ever. So I can see way out into the pasture, which is fenced off right now because it's raining and everything gets muddy. So I try to preserve some, which is why I'm very fastidious about manure picking. So here's the round pen up here and another fence line. All right, I'll see you later. The boys are all tucked into their stalls eating breakfast. I will there's the hay stall. Here's Braggy. Hi, Braggy. We'll come out in a couple of hours to let them out of their paddocks so they can hang out together. And I'm walking up back up to the house.